All right, this is my second experiment for making a small banjo head out of a, uh, in this case, a three liter soda bottle. Cut it open and I'm going to cut this to size. I think I can probably get two, two small banjo heads out of the one. liter bottle. Now this is a regular Mountain Dew kind of soda. I don't know if you'll be able to see this but on the bottom of the bottle there's a triangle, a recycling triangle and it says PEAT or PETA 1 and that's the type of plastic that uh, will shrink and not give off noxious odors. So what I'm going to do is trim a little bit more, so I don't have quite so much excess. But I want to leave enough that I can pull it down over the salad bowl and get a good grip with the staples. Hopefully I didn't cut too much. Alright, so I'm just going to start on one side. Staple it in place. Some folks, uh, let me get a hammer. Some folks use epoxy to hold it in there. I think epoxy would probably give way under the heat, but I haven't tried epoxy yet, so I'm just going with the same way that I that I do a uh, calf skin head on a banjo. Pull it as tight as I can. And staple it. Alright. It's going to take a couple minutes to go all the way around, so I'm just going to pause it now and I'll come back in a minute. Alright, I've got it stapled pretty closely all the way around. And even, uh, that's a nasty one, but I'll replace it. Even before I uh, hit it with the heat gun, you can see this uh, got a little bit of tension to it already because I pulled it kind of tight. So uh, I'll hit that with the heat gun in a minute. I'll show you this one. This is one I did a couple days ago same kind of method but I used the uh, plastic off of a um, well it came from this toy box they had it in there as a uh, packaging and my grandson's fourth birthday was a couple of days ago so I salvaged a couple of things including the soda bottle and uh, decided to do some experiments with it but hey I'm probably going to turn that into a little banjo uke because it turned out all right. So, hold on. All right, I've got my heat gun out, and uh, this one has two settings a high and a low. And I'm going to use it on the low setting and keep it maybe four or five inches away from the plastic and work it around and keep it moving as I go. Let's see what happens. Yeah, see it's starting to shrink up now. If you can see that, yeah.
Then I'll give it about uh, five minutes or so to cool and we'll see if it uh, has increased in tension. Looks like all the wrinkles that were in there are coming out pretty nicely. With this PEEP-1 plastic, there's no fumes that I can that I can tell being emitted, but I still, I'm in my uh, garage workshop with the door open, so uh, I do have some ventilation going, just in case. Alright, give that about five minutes to cool, then I'll come back to you. All right, it's about five minutes have passed since I heated it up with heat gun and uh, see if you can hear the difference in the tone here from the, when I first That's pretty tight. It's a lot tighter than when I first put it on and it'll resonate a lot more if I go in the back of the salad bowl and cut that out which I usually do in my open back banjos no matter what I'm making them out of. I've made them out of large salad bowls and gourds. Sometimes I'll cut a hole in the side facing the player so that uh, you'll be able to hear yourself. Especially on a small bowl like this, the volume won't be great, but it'll be great for sitting around strumming by yourself. And hey, that's uh, peat three from a soda bottle and it cost me Nothing it cost a buck and a half to buy it. We drank the sodas at the party, and instead of putting it in the trash can, I think I know what I'm going to do with soda bottles from now on. But yet, yeah, that's a three liter bottle, and you can't do a very large banjo head. However, also at the party, My grandson had a birthday cake. So there is the cake container. It came from the local grocery. And sure enough, see if I can find it. Sure enough, right about there, you probably can't see it because it's clear, is Pete 1. So I could probably make a pretty good size banjo out of that cake container. Hey, experiment away and uh, just uh, make sure you are in a well-ventilated area if you're working with a plastic that you're not sure about. <laughs> 